A long lost video of the family on holiday was returned to its owner, thanks to a stranger's generosity and tip. John O. Marcus had assumed that the video of him visiting Kenya with his mum and dad in 1989 was long lost after his mum moved house in 2016. It's especially poignant because his father, pictured on the sweet video is now dead, while John O. is now 50. It's just a breath. It's a snapshot of someone who seemingly has no care in the world, and I did have no care in the world, it seemed it was a good time, he told my TV. David Guttenmaker, who runs the Museum of Lost Memories, spotted the video in a charity shop in New Jersey, US, and posted a video of I found this VHS of a family vacation while thrifting so I bought it, took it home and digitized it, he explained in the viral bit the video ended up being viewed over 2 million times, which didn't surprise me said, with everything going on these days, people just want to see good in the world and a story like this is perfectly good. people were left desperate for the people in the video to be reunited with the lost tape. One person comment. It. Where are they? Who are they? How are they? That's what I want to know. Another said, it's crazy to me when they filmed this that they had no idea that thousands of people someday in the future would. One viewer named Julie decided to contact Wesleyan University, Yonel's alma mater, after spotting a man wearing a top with the current swimming coach then put her in touch with their predecessor, who identified. She then left him an answer phone message, where she explained that he was trending on. I said please send me a link. And sure enough, she sent me a link and there I was with my mom and dad, the 54-year-old told Abe after graduating from uni. Jono flew to Europe in 1989 before meeting his parents in Kenya, where they enjoyed a He shared a video on TikTok with photographs from that holiday and showing his reaction to the viral clip. He even dressed up in the dungarees he appeared to be wearing in the video, and jokingly recreated and he paid tribute to his father, who died in 2015. The now 54-year-old said he was overwhelmed by the video, especially after a tough 2020. He said, it more sparked a feeling of youthfulness and playfulness that I may have put on a shelf, I think in part due to the pandemic and a part due to just getting to the rut of working hard, keeping the kids safe and entertained, I guess, during the pandemic. People were left open mouth that he was reunited with the sweet video. One person wrote, another replied, when the internet is used for good it's the best thing. A third added, sometimes things like this remind me that the internet can be a